I've got new decks. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's on about no deck, uh, you know, 2019 and uh, depth year and all that. And I respect that very much. I think it's uh, high time. Some of us, um, you know, reigned in the uh, glittery want, 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 want uh, spirit. Because um, it's just so easy to get stuff and you just press, uh, you know, pay and uh, <laughs> there goes the money. <laughs> we have um, had a, quite a bit of uh, history with our, uh, in this household with, uh, you know, overspending back in the day. So um, I kind of know that it's, uh, it's way too easy to uh, compensate for uh, things that are lacking in our lives by, uh, you know, getting new stuff and buying stuff and, uh, and all that. So I have been a very good girl in uh, 2018. I think that uh, I did almost all of my decluttering in that uh, summer. And um, before that, in the years before, actually since 2012, I have been, uh, we've been more or less forced to um, pay a lot of attention to our budgets for different parts of our life. And we live in quite a nice house, so it costs a lot of money. And um, so everything else has to kind of, you know, fold itself around that. And uh, buying new decks has always been um, a bit of an issue for me because there's a lot of stuff out there that I could want. But I have had to, uh, you know, think about things 12 times before actually uh, buying anything. So recently there was a bit of money came our way and um, there were a couple of decks that I... Uh, had absolutely uh, decided over a couple of months, you know, passing by them again and again, there were uh, these decks that I was really going to, uh, I was going to get those someday, one, one day or another. So the first one that came in, I'm just going to probably, you know, bundle it all together. See how cute that is? <laughs> Isn't this the cutest fuzzy furry face you've ever seen? And inside is a mini deck. The Pagan Mini Cats. Is that upside down? Please don't be upside down. The Queen of Swords in the Mini Cats. Mini Pagan Cats. So this is obviously, it takes a bit of careful handling because, uh, you know, it's quite thin. And all in all, all the cards together, um, let me try and get this out properly. Yes, it's this big. I etched them in a purple color. And these are the backs, very well known. And they're actually quite easy to handle as long as you're, um, you know, a bit careful with them. And they're, it's quite possible to shuffle them as well. Let me show you like so. I have to shuffle them like this, like sideways. That's uh, how you look at it. And uh, then it works just fine. So this is really easy to take along anywhere, to be on the road with, you know. You have a very uh, good looking tarot deck uh, now, whereas what I used to have in all my mini versions were all my homemade versions, my uh, homemade Sasuabito and uh, my, uh, you know, other versions. So this is a new one. And I can actually show this to people without feeling ashamed. So that's a good one, okay? Number one. And then, the a week later, um, I think it's five decks in one go that came in. So we have this big bag full of stuff. And we have this, and this, and the steampunk, I think. In here, I have bags that I made. Uh, this is home, my own home spun and uh, crocheted uh, wool, sheep's wool. And um, I had this bag for lying around forever. And inside now, they are, this bag has become the home, yes, for soul cards. And we got them both because my husband couldn't choose 
and I thought basically this is your cup of tea altogether. You've got to get at least one deck of soul cards. And um, so we went and got them both. This is upside down, yes. You all know the soul cards and I think they're fabulous. I haven't really uh, worked with them yet because all this came in last Friday and today is Tuesday and I was ill and I was away and all the rest of it. So I, it was quite a bit of a of a job. What a handful this is. <laughs> Must be 130 cards or something. Crazy. Um, I think they are exquisitely beautiful. Some of them are more appealing to me than others at the moment, but that's their strength, right? This is soul cards are like the complete opposite of a tarot. Look at that. Those colors and all that intuitive flowiness and all that emotion. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And I love that there are no meanings attached. Nothing is predetermined. And all you want to do with them is your own. So lovely beautifully individualistic set and um, so we will be seeing what we can do with that i suspect that it will be more for me it will be more of a leafing through and selecting etc like i did with my ocean oracle also and i suppose um i don't use that type of deck uh, all that often but they are really helpful it just it takes a bit more time and you don't have this framework of ideas or structures to lean on. You just have to make it up as you go along, kind of work with what comes into you from a deck like that. And um, so that can be extremely helpful, especially uh, in combination with a tarot that you uh, that you really like or in whatever way uh, you want to apply that. So the next one that came in uh, was a tarot again, and it is, ta-da, what am I cutting out? Page of Pants. A Halloween Oracle. Halloween? Now? No, of course not, except it was now, it was 20 uh, euros instead of, what was it, 23 or something. So I uh, was, you know, ordering my stuff and I have always thought this was just so cute and adorable. And I haven't done any edging or anything because, hello, US Games cardstock. Perfect. No comments to be made. And I have another deck here that I've been busy with for three days because that was uh, that needed uh, quite a lot of work. Here's the Nine of Bats, the Nine of Swords again. Yeah, it's quite right weighty. And um, that's completely fine because it makes it easy to work with. And this is, uh, I saw Simon Hermit's cave. Uh, he trimmed his and he edged it in orange and it just looked good enough to eat, I swear. And um, the chariot here, look at that. <laughs> Sense of humor, much needed humor and fun and um, now that I'm looking at these, I'm thinking, oh yeah, the white edges have got to come off because you either that or I'm just going to make them all orange all around because I'm a bit fed up with the uh, edging and the trimming business now. Because in order to have some continuity in my tail here, I was going to do separate videos about each deck, but I don't have enough to, to say to tell you about each deck. So I will just bundle them all together. This is my... Um, I suppose my best um, acquisition at the moment, I still think so, it's the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore. Now, let me see what else can, can I show you, which is a bit Queen of Swords, like the cat just now. I love this. You know why I love this? I have a quite a number of reasons why I love this deck. Eight of Pent. See how well that is made? Number one, they're really well made, the paintings. I love the images of, um, of this deck. It's just everything is really well done. 
the anatomy is well done, the faces are pretty. Here, look at the hierophant. See? I, I like that there are, um, there's an emphasis on the human social um, element in this. See how nice and fuzzy, smoky that is. It's very atmospheric and there's a lot of people. The emphasis really is on uh, on the people. And I also like that it is very nostalgic and uh, bourgeois in a way. In a, in a way I have a bit of experience with myself because, you know, this lot reminds me of my grandfather on my mum's side who was uh, a teacher, a school teacher, and him and his family, my mother and her brother were born in Indonesia, in a colony. So all this 19th century stuff reminds me a great deal of the atmosphere. I lived with my grandfather for three years when I started uh, in the beginning of the period where I was studying at university in Amsterdam. So it's a a deck that reminds me of that uh, of that period of studying, being a student, being surrounded by books um, because of him being a teacher and I'm staying at his house. He uh, he used to help me. I had no problems with my granddad whatsoever. My mum had a lot of problems with her father, but not me. I was I was completely fine with him. And I suppose he cared for me in a way that he couldn't really, um, you know, that type of relationship he couldn't really have with his own daughter because it had been uh, molested and um, taken away from both of them. And so it was good I was there. I suppose I compensated for a tiny bit of that to, yeah, to some extent. So this deck reminds me of those things. It reminds me of the colonial history of you know the the wealth the, the the power and the and the affluence of white people which is something i um i'm not a huge fan of but i profit from it every day because i am uh, you know i live in those in one of those rich white countries so it's only honest and fair to look at those things however i also like to remember um you know, the spirits of adventurousness back in those days. And I used to, uh, I suppose I used to believe myself when I was 18, 19 years old. I was a firm believer in science and in positive thinking. <laughs> I still am, even though it, you know, has been hiding for 30 years. I, um, yeah. I just like this stuff a lot and I like the way the representation, I like that there is uh, a lot of nice indoor scenery with nice floors and wallpaper and lots of pretty details and um, this is the high priestess and also it looks like all those people in here are some part of some sort of secret society with uh, balloons and that type of thing. So, um, well, all this, quite positive. I love this deck. Beautiful deck. However, here comes the big however. The cardstock sucks. I have no other word for that. What I did is I, you know, as you see, I trimmed them. I um, actually ended up using a plastic transparent laminating foil on the backs which was quite a bit of a job because I had to, once they were on, which was fine, you used to stick them on um, after they'd been trimmed, obviously. Um, I had to cut them out again, cut the plastic out using nail scissors, extremely fine, thin nail scissors, because the, the scissors, any scissors will go into this cardboard like, like that. So um, this is very fragile stuff that they are made of. And I found them so slippery and so thin that it would uh, it would hardly it, it would hardly shuffle at all. 
you could only ruffle them really comfortably and I uh, I think it's just a flame and shame there you go that this quality type of painting work was actually put on such a stupid cardstock I really think that's uh, it's a flame and shame so uh, they give you this book you know with lots of stuff to read which I think is quite fine but I would gladly have paid 10 euros more I would still have got it for myself if I'd gotten um, if, if that meant getting a proper cardstock like the Halloween tarot cardstock is is I don't know what it is it's quality of the cardboard or something about it it's thicker obviously and the deck as it is has um, increased by this much I think almost doubled this was how thin 78 cards were before I put the plastic foil on if you know what I mean okay so now at least this is 78 proper cards and so now I can shuffle this and I can work with it and I can I don't have to worry every second that I'm going to fold one of them double or anything I think the way it felt when I opened the box or took the cards out the first time it was like this is some kind of a gimmick this is some kind of a toy they're just printed on paper and you're not supposed to use them you're supposed to put this on your coffee table and have people gobble at it and that's not my cup of tea at all so now with the plastic foil these are the backs by the way um, and trimming them is not really offensive to the image on the outside of the it's a bit more shiny now because of the plastic but I ex explicitly put plastic only on the backs because I still want to have some of that cardboard matte cardboard feel the print is beautiful so um, I don't I don't get it maybe they just had to save somewhere because if they used proper cardstock it would have cost 45 euros or something which is you know yeah. it's a choice beautiful cards really well balanced well made a lot of work went into each painting and it is naturalistic type uh, uh, of work um, so there's a lot of atmosphere and I also like that it is a bit more urban because a lot of what I have so far what I work with is very much nature based so trees tree oracles um, you know wooden tarot um, either it's very old like the Visconti Sforza or it's very um, very instinctive like the Mary L that I use most of all um, I didn't have any a deck that sort of places things in society more so I will have to work with this and uh, see how we get along so that was my steampunk story because I've been working on this for a couple of days like I said just to get it into a shape that I can actually work with it doesn't have a, a home to live in yet soul cards Halloween tarot pagan cats the last one that I've got to show you is I got a little Le Normand, Le Normand. It's the Enchanted Le Normand, and we have actually already used it with friends, and it works just fine. It is such a teeny weeny, um, small system, and I think they're beautiful. There's a dog, and you can. Most of these ideas, I suppose if you grew up in Western society, whatever that means nowadays, um, you can um, you can have your you can have your more or less standard uh, meanings for these uh, symbols. They, it just here's a tower. There's the tower again. It's almost the tower from the Smurf movies. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The fox. See, it's the Enchanted Lenormand, and they're beautiful. And I just have to edge this in dark green or something, and um, very handy to have. And somehow, it smells a bit like aniseed, star anise, 
or something spicy like that which is it's the only one that got that so i was kind of going for using this together with um with the steampunk and maybe i will i don't know it'll uh, have to uh, show itself but i like these very much and i don't have to do anything to them i don't have to trim them thank god because it's 78 cards back and forth you know <laughs> hours of my life anything else i want to share about this oh yeah maybe one final remark about the cardstock of the steampunk is that i am of course used to working with cardboard so much so um my um the the little decks that i made when i print out um you know little decks and stuff from the internet or for my own you know images which i print out and then glue onto cardboard or wallpaper or both with wallpaper glue then of course you get cards that are really you know really sturdy and really almost indestructible and um so maybe that's why i also badly me personally i react badly to this type of wibbly wobbly <laughs> stuff anyway we will see how we get along with this thank you for watching 21 minutes of that god anyway um lots of fun Lots of oracle fun. And um, you know what else? I'm going to put a final comical note to this. The boxes that the soul cards come in have tiny soul cards at the back. Like that. And guess what she's doing? She's going to cut them all out and stick them on cardboard. And then I have a mini, <laughs> a mini soul card set. I'm a nut. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for being here. And I love you guys to pieces. So, see you soon. Kwanzaa Day 4, at the very least. And um, all else um, will be seen to in due course. Thank you. Bye-bye.